The dam is to produce close to 6,000 megawatts of electricity for both domestic and exports. Commenting on the 4.8 billion US dollar mega power project, the President of the Federal Republic of Ethiopia, Mulatu Tashome, said African governments need to invest heavily in energy and infrastructure if the continent is to break through in her development agenda. With um, industrialization, the demand for energy is going to be very high, very, very high. So rest assured that uh, we will not be in a position to say now Ethiopia has produced enough of electricity for itself and for its neighbors. No, that is never ending. It will continue. It is a beehive of activity at the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam with a workforce of 10,000 working 24 hours a day. They have a completion deadline of July 2017. The dam is located 500 kilometers northwest of Addis Ababa in the region of Benishangul, Guma along the Blue Nile. It is 1,800 meters long, 170 meters high with a volume of 10 millimeter cubic meters of water. Once completed, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam will be the largest dam in Africa and the 11th largest globally. President Molatu and Getechua Reda, the Minister of Government Communication, say the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is purely funded by the local citizens and they advise governments to desist from pushing for loans for their economies. So for Ethiopia and Uganda, Ethiopia and Kenya, Ethiopia and Sudan, all our neighbors, we have to start immediately to think about taking the roads to our borders in order to to enable us, connect us to Uganda or to Rwanda. We have to depend entirely on our own domestic resources to build the dam. Sinta Yahu Bekele, the engineer behind this multi-billion dam reveals, the dam has been constructed on compacted concrete and has two power stations installed at the foot of the dam. Just on the downstream side of this main dam, we will have um, two uh, outdoor um, power stations. Uh, one is on the right side of the uh, dam and the other one is on the left side of uh, the uh, dam, the main dam. Power from here will serve 96 million Ethiopians and extend to Djibouti and southern Sudan. Kenya too is anxiously waiting. Bekele says, apart from power generation, this mighty dam will reduce the problem of flooding downstream which will enable the practice of recession agriculture in the river valley. This dam has, however, been facing location controversies, as Sudan and Egypt initially restricted its construction, saying it might interrupt the flow of River Nile. The conflicts have, however, since been resolved, and the three countries have signed a cooperation framework. It is 9 p.m. here at the Renaissance Dam reconstruction site. The engineers are working day and night simply because they need to catch up with the high demand of the power which they hope to sell within Ethiopia and beyond the borders. I am Fatuma Nelwanga for Urban TV in Ethiopia.